everybody, okay, I'm sorry we're interrupting this, but it's it's good. Like, right, this isn't some some silly sponsor uh, shout out. This is really good. You're gonna want. Oh my gosh. Okay, first we're doing something for the first. The first time ever. This has never happened with us before. It's a first, all right? We are having a, a farm music festival, right? Yes, we're gonna have, there are one, two, three, four, five bands playing. Chancey Williams is the big, is the big, the big, the big guy that's coming. There's also Jacob Hyde, the Harry Luge, the Sunset Red, Billy Shaw Jr. Uh, the last four, they're locals, as far as I know. Uh, Chancey Williams is not. But we're gonna have kids area, adult area, um, pri uh, VIP seating. Um, but it's all right on the farm. We're doing this in our arena, so it's right here. Like everything you see me filming, it's gonna be right there. So October 14th, it's Saturday from 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. If you can drive, excuse me, if you can fly, come. We would love to have you. We're pretty pumped about it. We hope you are too. All right, back to the show. We're making hay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Bales Hay Farm and Ranch Show. I am Trevor Bales, the host of the Bales Hay Farm and Ranch Show. Sorry, it doesn't seem like I do much farming sometimes because sometimes I don't. It's mostly driving around and managing. There's 30 employees out here. Someone's got to make sure things are going smoothly. So that's my dad and Brian. They manage the whole place. I just drive around and make videos. Just kidding. All right. Well, before we get into it, you know what to do. Thumbs up, like, share, comment. Um, and thank you, sponsors. Man, I still, I still, man, Fluid All, I still pumped up to have Fluid All stuff. Uh, the, the, the oil containment stuff they gave us, they sent out here. Awesome stuff. We use it every day. If you don't have it in your shop, you need to have it. It makes your life, it makes your employees' life easier. It makes everybody's life easier. Second, Oh, 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 I'm excited for this one because a personal friend and man, some big things could end up happening. You just never know. PDI Performance Diesel Incorporated. I still haven't sent my trucks up there. I'm going to go with them, but I have the one truck that's PDI'd out. It's just, man, it's a, it's a great truck. It's super reliable. That's why I bought it from him. But I'm excited to send other trucks. He was just down here the other day and he says, hey, we could turn these M11, these low horsepower trucks, or we can make them run. It's like, man, I, I really, I really don't need to make these two run. Like they're my small horse powered, small trucks. Baylor, like I don't need them to like be crazy fast. He's like, whatever, we can do it, but we're not going to do it. Just the other trucks. All right, well, let's go. We're bailing hay. They're almost done with this field. Actually, um, I've been on the phone. My tr trucks are out running. So, uh, I wasn't able to be out here where these guys are bailing but we're gonna catch them bailing right now i see they're running some steam let's get uh let's get let's get alongside someone over here pablo manuel i love manuel the other guys are gone so there's brian i hope brian remembers how to drive a baler I wish you could smell the steamed hay. Oh, it smells good. So that's a scale, it's sitting on the scale. This is reading the moisture through the bale as it comes out. So it's pinging back and forth or in, or I don't really know. Maybe it's not even pinging, but it's a microwave. That's telling Brian, or the driver, what the moisture's like inside the bale. Here's a camera so he can make sure these three strings are not broken. With that steamer there, he can't see anything. The steamer is not ran off the PTO. The PTO actually just passes right through underneath the steamer to the baler. The steamer runs on diesel and hydraulic oil.
When I say hydraulic oil, it's running pumps, not, not oil running through it. Did you count the flakes? What'd you count? I counted 14. There's the PTO shaft, just passes right through. These hoses are hot, they're full of steam. The steam comes out, separates, goes to three different areas. The white stuff you see, that's not dust. That is steam going right into the hay. That's the last windrow. I don't know if Brian gets it, we'll jump in. But he might come back and get it because the farm's that way. Beautiful hay. I've already had complaints this year about hay though. Oh, it's stemmy. La la la. I get a video from someone. They're flaking it apart in these beautiful flakes. Well, it's kind of dry, they tell me. Well, dry hay doesn't flake. Well, but it, but it, like when you shake it, if it, it, it you know, falls apart. Well, yeah, I have to bale it dry. Like I can't bale it with a ton of moisture. It'll turn it'll turn into tobacco, like it'll turn brown or mold. But like, this is the ugly side of a bale. Like, okay, whatever, it's a little dryish looking. See the steam? Oh, that's cool looking. I don't know what he's doing, purging it, who knows. It's a major highway, he's probably just showing off. Typical Brian, he's such a show off. But here's the pretty side. So the baler was moving that way. Oh, there he is right now. So depending on what side of the bale you look at, I mean, but I, people just get spoiled and they look at the stems like, oh, this hay is stemmy, but yeah, I, I promise you it's perfectly fine. But they're the ones spending lots and lots of money, so you gotta keep people happy. Sorry, I wish I'd have got off the phone earlier. We could have rode with Brian. Yesterday, we moved 25 truckloads. Pretty, it was nice having, well, one squeeze that broke down. It was missing one bolt. Had a shut down. Boom, got the bolt. I jumped and helped Leonard. It was, that's why having three squeezes is so nice. Um, we had 20, 25, I think it's 23. 23 loads to move yesterday. And then he had six step decks that needed to get loaded. Well, he's trying to unload trucks while loading trucks going out. And the squeeze that's loading in the field, he's 30 minutes away, one way. So he can't load, then come back and unload the trucks. It just takes it's just too much time. So once we got that bolt in, I was able to jump in a squeeze and I really wished, I wish I had my camera because we were, we we're moving fast and it would have been just one truck after the other coming in to get unloaded. It's making some beautiful hay. I love it. Oh, the combine's running up there. I don't know who's running it. Well, uh, we're gonna fly around them anyways. So I just noticed just north of my dad's house, there's a combine running with a stripper head on it. There is a, uh, a, a, hay, a, a real big hay broker. These guys move a lot of hay. They make me look like child's play. But anyways, they want nice, long, uh, straw stalks so what they did is they bought a two stripper heads and whenever they buy straw standing from a, a farmer or a dairy 
they will supply the stripper head to the combine, whatever combine is doing the work. So uh, a guy, uh, Dexter Allen, is running it. Just called him. He said, jump on up with me. He's moving pretty slow, and I have to be somewhere at 9.30, and it's 8.30. I might not have time. We might have to come back, which is okay. He'll be here all day. The straw, it's, I've never, I've actually never walked into a field that's been stripped like this. It is so tall, look at this. I mean, it's up to my waist. Look at this, that's, my belt is right there. It's right there with it. Yes! like I know how this works so I'm not gonna say anything so because we're riding in I'm riding in a combine I thought who better to take with me than Hank say hi Hank hi ask him how say how are you ask him how they're doing how you're doing yeah see look what is that what do you see There it goes. So real quick, before I go get back on the combine, I run around to these, every, there's loads set up in the fields for the semis and the squeeze. So to keep paperwork consistent and accurate, I run around and uh, fill this out for them. And there's a lot of things I determine as well. We are the grower, B and B, we are the hauler, bales, hay, Haulers. This is alfalfa ALF loading location B52. It's going to go to 5 East End. Whoops. Loaded by Freddie. Unloaded by Leonard. Oh, there's Papa. Yeah, Papa's D. Oh. And then there's 512 there's bales. Guy. And I'll stick this. Right here. Boom. The driver jumps out, grabs it, and they're ready to go. Gets to see Papa. We get to see Hank's reaction to uh, to the combine. Hopefully he's pretty pumped up and excited to see it. And to ride in it. See, this, like a lot of guys like, yeah, we do a lot of combining. Like, dude, this dude never rides in a combine. That's not normal for us. We we make hay. That's it. Hay farmers. We're hay farmers. Hank, what do you see? Oh, I see a truck. No, no, other window. And I see another truck. Look at the other window. Look the other way. Look other way. That, yeah. What do you see? I see... No, look in front of us. In front of look, right there. A combine. Yeah, you want to go ride in it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, why? All right. There you go. Hey, 
Hank, that's she Dexter's. Might be able to help me yeah. on Say hi, Mr. Allen. Hi, Mr. Allen. How are you doing? Is Hank, what are we driving? We are driving a combine. We are. Well, we're riding in it. Dexter's driving a combine. <laughs> Well, now we're in the thick of it. How how's this stuff yielding right now? Bell shed bomb. Oh, oh sh hold on. It's running eleven thousand something pounds. I are chicken. Eleven thousand pounds to the acre. Yes, and I believe this is a new variety that comes from Arizona grain called hey, Diamondback. Quit it. So this is a new variety that comes from Arizona grain called Diamondback. Now, do you have any idea compare uh, like pounds to bushels? Oh, well, be. Um, Divide that by 48. Oh, so whatever that was divided by 48. I don't. But this is, you know, that's the standard for barley. But I would imagine this. I uh, think that it is going 52 to 54. Okay. So you know, it's it's good heavy grain, and uh, it's amazing yield. Yeah. You know, we've beautiful. had the the kind of winter that you know it just says grow grain. Rain, cool. Yeah. I cut some uh, dry land that made uh, 48, no, 49 pounds of bushel. Wow. And it was down my back also, the, you know, Rick, he just threw it out there, to, you know, he didn't want to see weeds growing on this stuff that was going into uh, houses. So he put it out there and I've been watching it all winter and and so I called him up and I said, hey, let's cut that bar. Oh, is dry you. land here in Buckeye, you mean? Yes, it's oh. right down on the corner of Apache. I gotcha. In Broadway. Wow. And he was like, I, I can't pay me to cut that. You know, I was like, I don't, uh, we'll just split it. That way, you know, yeah. I'll take some risk, you take some yeah. risk. And, or, well, you know, and so. Ended up being good. It ended up doing really good. Um, some of the other guys were cutting some that was planted here, there, and everywhere. And theirs was only making 40 pounds of bushel. I don't know if it was a difference in the varieties or, you know, the techniques or right. farming or anything, but look how thick that stuff is. Beautiful. So how many different places have you operated a combine? Uh, Texas, Oklahoma, Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, California, Oregon, uh, Montana, Wyoming. Kansas? Nevada, Kansas. Nevada, Kansas. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to jump out, but we're going to get back in with Dexter. We're going to find him in another field. I got to meet my wife. But you're already dumping again. This is full after one round. That's yield. And you've seen how little it was. Holy smokes. We're That's looking incredible. at some 10,000 pound barley here. Wow. Okay, we're going to be. We had some 12,000 up there. And this is verified because we actually adjusted it by combine. You combine one load, you input it in there, oh, it's wow. calibrated, and so it tells you on the go. I can get an average of the field. Awesome. And here in just a little while, I'm gonna call Larry's uh, secretary. I'm gonna compare notes and see exactly how close awesome. we are. Awesome. Well, but before we go, we'll, we'll fly the drone around. We'll watch this pretty combine run.